Hey everybody, welcome to Sunshine Acres, another episode of Flashback Friday. I'm Jason. I'm Kara. Welcome everybody. Um, today we're going to be talking about April and May of 2017 at Sunshine Acres. So last video we showed you we were getting all the siding hung and at this point we started to stain the barn. And it was similar um, timing where it took um, basically one weekend per side, correct? Yep. And I was trying to remember the name of the, the product we use, one, one Time Wood or? I think that's correct, yeah. I think it's called One Time Wood. And it, we got a recommendation from somebody locally here that used it on their- Fence. Yeah, horse barn and fences and really heavy duty outdoor applications and it's supposed to you know la i mean last five to ten years and it's been on there four years four years now Over four years it's a hundred percent solid it's uv curable stain yeah it looks good after four years mm -hmm. but we found out the first weekend that what first weekend already yeah i think it was the first one that I don't know if I'm allergic to it or what'd you call it? It's like a chemical reaction to... You get sensitized, I believe. So the more that you use it, it kind of builds up. And every time after that, it gets worse. So we did the first weekend and we did the front first, didn't we? We went out of order. I don't remember. I trust you. The pictures. I think we, yeah, we'll look at the pictures, but I think we did the front first. But yeah, after that first weekend, I broke out rash everywhere swollen eyes swollen yeah. shut yeah it, well, i didn't know i was let's call it allergic to it for lack of a better term but um, after that i knew i, I was going to react to it so i would bundle up you know long sleeves gloves there i'd look like a mummy out there trying <laughs> to to stain and help out but so i i got through helping to stain the outside of the barn and then miss Kara. Future projects got handed over to me. Yeah, she gave Some me a other break. Buildings we did afterwards. You know, did not seem to get to me, which is a good thing. But I don't think we'll ever be doing it again by ourselves. That I, was a big project. That was big. Very big. Up on ladders, up and down. I remember I got that. Mm -hmm. It was almost like a bursitis on my heel. Mm -hmm. Big knot coming out of that. So, um, yeah, good times. <laughs> I didn't mind it nearly as much as Jason did. But I mean, we did it by hand, by a brush. I mean, we did the research on it. It was like mm -hmm. spraying, rolling, any of that. It was just not going to be. It didn't last as long. If you're what, doing that much work, you might as well do it. Wasn't going to be the same application. So do it right. And uh, getting in every single crevice, all the board and batten. I mean, it was just time consuming. But well, rough saw on it soaks it up too. I mean, I think we bought 20 gallons maybe or more. It may have been 30 gallons. I'd yeah. have to look back, but it was at least, at least a whole pail per side. Yeah, thing. and it, it wasn't cheap, but uh, I would no. say well worth it. Well yeah. worth it. It still looks great, I think. You'll see in the pictures. So the next item that we had going on in April, May of 2017, I'm going to let Miss Kara talk about. Okay, so 
how long we've been there two years by then now it's one year it's just one year yep okay so we're exactly so, about a year into it um so at this time uh i've been having to go you know use the facilities in the woods for a while and had we would go to the neighbors that were building because other people are building and um, kind of steal their porta johns and <laughs> get up in the morning. Sorry, neighbors, if Sorry, you're watching Sorry, if you're this. watching this. Hey, I doubt we were the only <laughs> ones. I mean, the construction workers were using them too. But yeah, sleep in the camper, get up in the morning, hop on the gator, ride over to the neighbors. But I mean, sometimes you'd have to ride over there really fast. So it's like I had to convince uh, Jason that it was time to get a porta john and you know, step it up, class it up a little bit with the so, porta john. So this finally came into play, which, which was nice. Got a full-time porta john. So. And the, and we did eventually get another one for the contractors, but I got to keep my own porta john so that it stayed clean. And really, it's not that bad. They come and clean it once a week. Yeah. Even. So yeah. it was us using it every other weekend. It stayed. Perfectly, pristine yeah, clean it smelled clean. good inside i've never seen a cleaner portage on in my life but that was a very nice luxury to have after you know peeing in the woods for a year it's just a year just a year no that, that was good good stuff Uh, other items we were working on uh, at that time were all, everything was kind of barn related. Then um, we had the fr we already had the front doors built, so then mm -hmm. it was a matter of still had uh, the back door, which is uh, both openings are ten by ten, I believe. That back one may be a, a foot shorter one one way, but um, big opening in the back that still wasn't closed up. So we got a roll up door, uh, got that installed. So at that point we were. 100% secure, mm -hmm. dried in, um, and that was a good deal. Um, would you match that door? To the roof, yeah. So we had the green metal roof, so we really lucked out, I think. We had two green colors to pick from, and one of them was the exact shade, and yep. then painted the man doors, so they, they matched the uh, roll-up door and the roof. Was very happy those all came together nicely, I think. but. Um, if you've watched a previous video of ours of you painting doors, not my favorite activity. <laughs> I don't know, I it just, it's intensive time-wise and doesn't ever seem to come out right. But if you stand back, it looks really good. Well, it was kind of monumental at the time. So you figure, I mean, we had the, the concrete was stained, you know, the outside of the barn is done and stained. Man doors are painted, roll-up doors in. Mm -hmm. it, at, for the first time, it was a complete product. We yeah, had we had definitely. we had power on it. We had water. We had a totally lockable, finished building. So yeah, time to move to the inside. Yeah, that, that was a milestone for us. So once we did move to the inside of the um, the barn, it was time to really start getting the wood shop set up. You know, at that point we had outdoor saw station set up to work mm -hmm. on the siding and everything else. And um, in my lifetime, I've set up four or five different construction wood shop type things. But what a, a fantastic thing to be able to, I mean, clean slate, start from scratch, plenty of square footage. Um, I, I'd be embarrassed to show it to you today and that's why we're not filming there because it's so dirty right now. But look, we got the computer up now. We're looking at pictures of when we first built uh, saw tables and, and some of the things in there and the floor shiny and everything's clean and it's it's brand new wood. It it looks absolutely fantastic. So. Well, it looks like it's not being used. No, it definitely gets used now. <laughs> It's supposed to look dirty. That means we work in it. We do all the time and about a quarter of it. So, I mean, over 500 square feet is dedicated to shop space. Yeah. And then, then the, the middle 
aisle of the barn is meant to be drive through so we you know you pull the tractors out of the way and the gators and that adds you know another five six hundred feet if you need it so yeah um uh, plenty of space it's really cool uh we'll probably actually be getting it later this year and and adding on to the wood shop and getting that set up a little more so mm -hmm. you know seeing these photos now i, I look forward to uh, those upcoming activities so that that's gonna be really cool but yeah it's cool to see the, these videos or uh, pictures here of when we did that so we use that same rough sawn that went on the siding right yeah a lot of it yep to build the benches and fit the saw in just how we wanted it to go and yeah, because I, I, in a previous video, we talked about uh, when we first got the rough sawn siding for the barn, uh, we didn't stack it correctly, and a lot of it got mold on. We used some of that, uh, but then we, we, we stickered and stacked it correctly, and then we used it for a ton of miscellaneous stuff afterwards. Yeah. It was like, build this stuff for the shop. Um, in future videos, you'll see where we built wood storage and it, all kinds of stuff. It, yeah, it, yeah, really it did good. not go to waste. Nope, used every bit of it. All right, uh, other cool pictures that we got uh, for these two months is April and May 2017. Uh, we've just got some miscellaneous things. We did not, I'll look and see if I can and pull up some other pictures. We built an outdoor shower and kitchen on the back corner of the barn, which is really cool. Um, so I'll try to push those uh, pictures through. They didn't, they didn't come through when I first tried to upload here, uh, but that was kind of cool as well because once that was up and running, we had running water with a hot shower. Very nice. At, at the time of the townhouse, that shower is better than what we had at, at home then. So. Well, we showered in the trailer, but it's, That's, it's about this big. So <laughs> Her little butt can fit. fit in there. Yeah, me, not so much. So. No, so the outdoor shower is like six by six, on, yeah. something like that. Huge. It was just nice. Um, really cool water heater we found that runs on propane and I think you need some batteries to spark it and yeah that continuous hot water super nice yep no that was great so we did that we already had the clearing done for the house so we we're continuing to start to grade so I was just you know with our little tractor every every other weekend we're out here to at least spend a couple hours and just go 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 yep I mean, I don't know, we probably got close to 200 hours on that tractor now. I bet you 30 of those were probably spent doing that, just constantly going back and forth. But Yeah, we have a really nice graded backyard now. Thanks yep. to all the work that you put in on that. And a lot of trees that we got to save out of that. So when we, yeah, we cleared for the house. There's a couple of pictures in here. We, we had them stack. Yeah, every tree of any good size just went into, uh, we had three, I think it was three or four piles. Mm -hmm. And there was some, some soft wood in there, but most of it was uh, white, red oak, uh, a little bit of hickory, a uh, good bit of poplar, yep. um, just good stuff. And I think it's a, I think we waited almost a year. To let that season. To let it season, yeah. but um, well, ultimately we milled that into, um, if you watched any of our Sunset Cabin videos, a lot of that, went went to to that mm -hmm. uh, we built some furniture you can see right behind us our dining room table uh, we built that out of <laughs> lumber off the property as well yep. so um, but yeah a little foreshadowing there uh, what else we got in here movie screen so um, we like to do things a little bit over the top sometimes and Say that. Uh, so we like to do we, at our previous residence with a little townhouse community pool was right there uh, we'd borrow a blow-up screen from our buddy um, thanks Ryan <laughs> and we didn't show movies at the pool there when we got out here it was like we need a bigger screen so we ordered off Amazon I want to say it's 11 feet tall by 14 feet wide movie screen 
uh, build a PVC frame for it. And we got some pictures of that setting up uh, movie night in the barn, which, uh, hey, that's pretty cool. I mean, if that's you're gonna be, be out in the woods, watch a, a big old movie screen, so. Yep, got a little bit of furniture moved in there and yeah, just had our nice little cozy, cozy setup. Yep. Well, I think that's it for this episode. Thank you for joining us at Sunshine Acres for Flashback Friday, April and May of 2017. Um, coming up June, I, I did not look at the pictures yet, so I'm, I'm taking a guess here, but we may go into like June and July, where we actually, we did a couple 4th of July parties uh, mm -hmm. back then, so we may get into some of that. Um, I have to see. I did see uh, some pictures of uh, the slingshot. Oh yeah. So uh, I, we, I we think we did that the first one. Yeah, okay. I, I think. Uh, I get to see the slingshot. The massive slingshot that we had in our clearing. So, but thanks again for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope it motivates you to get out and go do something. Uh, hang out with the people you love. Go build something and and have fun. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye. Have a nice day.